What's up guys, Joy Kong 94 today, showing you guys how to get Bitdefender Total Security 2013 for free. This will also work for Bitdefender Internet Security, or one other one, or whatever the hell other one they have. Well, I'm not sure about that, but I know it works for Internet and Total Security. So it's pretty complicated, and this video is going to be pretty long, so uh, just bear with me. But it's worth it, because this is the best antivirus out there, as far as I know, in my opinion, and I've used a lot of them. So, first thing you need to do is uninstall any antiviruses that you have. You don't actually have to do it. I mean, Super Antispiral or Malwarebytes, they're fine, but if you have like Kaspersky or AVG or anything like that, uninstall all those shit things first. Then, um, by the way, you'll download these, this uh, RAR file. We'll have three different methods actually, but we're going to be using the activator method because the other two suck. The uh, trial reset, you'd have to do it every 30 days, which is a pain in the ass. And the serial keys don't really work very well. But, um,. If you want to just use the serial keys for the internet security version, you can do that. But for my way, to getting into total security, you're going to have to do it a little bit different. So there's the instructions right here, so we'll take a look at these. So you're going to uninstall any antivirus, blah, 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 blah. Uninstall Bitdefender from the control panel. So we're going to go to control panel right now and find Bitdefender total security 2012. Uninstall it. Or 2013, I'm sorry. Remove. So we'll pause the video while it's doing. I'm just gonna give you guys a real quick heads up. Um, once it does, once it starts uninstalling, it's gonna open up your internet and it'll give you like, it'll open up a link to their site and it'll ask you why you want to install their product. Just close it. You don't need to do it. And another thing, this is gonna involve like four or five restarts of your computer, so just be prepared for that. And this is a little bit of a pain in the ass to do it, but after that, it should be it should be totally worth it. So uninstall it. Obviously, it sees that. Once you uninstalled, okay, then you're going to open this Bitdefender thing right here, which is this right here. And you'll select your language, which once it opens, I'll do that. English, hit OK. Alright, now we're going to restart, so I'm going to stop the video, and we'll be back in Alright guys, so first thing I'm going to have to do is apologize if you hear any the kind of Siri sounding noises in the background, because my dad's phone is about 5 feet, 10 feet away from me, and it's totally fucked up, it's going apeshit right now, it keeps opening up voice controls, no one's near it, I tried to factory restore it, and a couple things, and it's just, it's just fucked, and I have to leave it on because his alarm for his hockey game's on, so I can't mess, leave it, touch it, but... So sorry for that noise. So anyways, as you can see, after you restart your computer, you're going to register a new account with my Bitdefender. So I'm going to pause the video just because I don't need you guys to see my information. But just go to the link in the description, or not in the description, in the, yeah, I'll put it in the description. And give me your email address and make a password. So I'll be back in two Alright guys, so now once you have your account, um, as you can see the next step is to just install it. So you're just going to go to, um... Bitdefenders. Website. Just go Google and uh, Bit Defender. Go to this result right here. You're gonna go to more info. Try it for free. This will be blacked out for you guys. But just put your email in there. Hit submit. Don't check off the little box there. Hit submit. And then I'll say start download. Click that. And let it start downloading. See, so, okay, so it says anti antivirus, internet security, or total security. I'm going to be doing total security. So. Let's just start installing now. Oh, I'm gonna double click on it probably. Hit run. Can okay, minimize that. Make sure you remember the information. So now it will do all this stuff. It will download the installer. For a second, I thought I wasn't recording because when I had it like that, it didn't show it. So uncheck that. Click customize installation, hit that. 
Um, click install with custom settings. Okay, that didn't change anything, so you can just click install default. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to scan, download, and then install. Um, it might give you an install error. Don't worry about that. If it does, just hit OK, and it will install successfully. So we'll be back when it's done installing because it's going to take about five or six minutes. Alright guys, so as you can see, now it's done. Just click that. Check off the I want to evaluate the product here. So check that one off, hit next. Click next again. Click next again. Log into your account. So I'm going to pause it while I do that. Okay, once you are logged in, I um, might ask you to reboot. As you can see, mine didn't. So, um, it'll open up this bullshit. You can just hit exit. And you can just close, or you can just minimize this for now. So, once you get it, open up Bitdefender, go to the top right, and go to account settings. Okay, you're logged in. That will be blurred out for you, but you're logged in, so hit closed. Close out Bitdefender. Next step is to. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now you're going to restart in safe mode, so we're going to stop the video and we're going to go to my um, iPhone. And I'll show you guys what to do from there. Now the computer shutting off. Um, earlier when you made the account, before, like when, you, when I first showed you guys how to make the account, um, like where you put in your email your, and to, the password. Make sure you go to your um, email address and activate it before you install it. That's important because I had to go fix it, mess around a little bit. But anyways, yeah. So now we're going to get into safe mode. Just wait for it to shut down. So what you're basically going to do is wait until it shows you the little HP or Dell or Windows, whatever it shows you. And you're just going to rapidly tap the F8 button. It should be like that on your keyboard. So just say F8. So get ready. And when I see that, you just start tapping it. And it will bring up this screen right here. So to do it, you're just going to use the arrow keys and move it down until you go down to safe mode with networking right there. And then just hit the enter button. And then just chill out. I'm going to pause the video real quick while it does this because this will take a minute. Okay, so now I'll bring you to the normal window screen. Just log in. So I'm going to put my phone down while I do that. Okay, once you log in, you know, just log in like normal. Now your icons are going to be really big, so just like, don't worry about that. Um, this will come up right here, just hit exit, you don't need it. So hit start, um, oops. documents, desktop, or wherever the hell you have it saved at. Go down until you find it, which mine is right there. Open it. Just click exit to that. Click the activator. Click this first one right here. This one right here. Double click it. Select your English or your language. Hit OK. Mine's obviously English. Now you're going to want to go to the settings tool and activate how many years you want to. Um, just do one year. So it works right, hit save, then just hit activate, and as you can see, blah, 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 blah. hit OK, then you just simply hit start, restart, and restart just like normal, and it should be all set. So we'll pause the video, and we'll see you in a second. Alright guys, so as you can see, boom, there you go, Bitdefender Total Security 2013, 365 days left in the trial. There you go guys, that's it, so please remember to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, Joey Kong 94 out.